Welcome back to the second video of module one. Should you leave your day job for your film career? I can imagine many of you out there might ask that question. You are already in a day job outside of obviously the film industry and you have a passion for whatever you do with a camera, playing around, photography, whatever it is. Do what you love, work nine till five, spend two hours with your family. You can do a lot of damage between 7 p.m. and 2 a.m. Gary Vaynerchuk, founder of VaynerMedia. What he's saying basically, do your day job and then do a lot of damage in the evening hours where you can build basically another career or your second career. Should you leave your day job? You enter the industry with a bang. You know, there's this kind of dream out there. I quit my job. I have so much passion. I will make it. And that's awesome. That's very American. And I'm all up for it. The problem is that many, many out there fail and then, you know, using their credit cards in the meantime to support themselves, going heavily in debt, and then it's crashing. Next, it is easy to make the transition from your current job to become a film and video pro. And the current job means basically a job outside of the film industry. So if you're an architect or if you're a teacher or whatever, and you want to kind of move over to the film and video industry, what is absolutely possible? Because the beauty of the film world is that pretty much everybody can come in and do it. I did it in my 30s when I came four years ago to the US. Hobby experience and passion alone is enough to get into the film industry, some of you might say. Once you have the gear, you will get all the jobs that are you know, requiring the gear you have. You really need to check out if you've got what it takes to have a filmmaking career. Believe me, this is not you know simple. You have to work like crazy hours. In the beginning, you probably don't see the greatest return of investment in terms of your time and maybe even when you already buy gear. Um, so there is you know that first obstacle. Almost a quarter of film industry workers work only part-time. So that's a pretty common thing amongst DPs, amongst actors. It's a very um, big part, um, but also directors. I know directors who have basically two jobs. They are a director and, you know, the guy is an architect. So filmmaking doesn't pay the bills initially. And that's a sad truth because there is so much competition. Everybody tries to do it cheaper and, you know, longer and faster. And, you know, I will address all of those things, how you can overcome this. There are strategies and hacks, you know, to kind of outpace basically your competition and not even playing, um, you know, on that level. So solution, don't quit your day job too early. Making films on the side helps you test the waters without any financial pressure or commitment. So start, you know, doing some stuff on the side. You have probably the gear already. Maybe you have an iPhone, even better stuff, a point and shoot camera or even a DSLR. Start just doing, you know, making films. That's the most important thing. Whenever I ask the big guys, they all tell me, start making films. Use your day job to finance basically your filmmaking career. Hey, you got already, you know, money uh, coming in, right? So why not utilizing that to your advantage that, for example, many students of film schools or people who start as assistants or internships in internships, you know, they have no real income. They work often for free. So you have something going for you. You have some money coming in that you now can slowly build a really viable filmmaking career. Learn filmmaking from the online community. This is the way how I did it. I learned everything from you know online and then basically testing the waters in the field. I am a classical musician. I trained classical musician and have a degree um, in you know playing the viola solo. And 
you can imagine, you don't get really great jobs in that field because who needs a viola player all the time? Work on small jobs and accumulate gear and experience on the side, basically stepchen by stepchen by stepchen. Really buy the stuff that you really need for the current given job and build your experience and your gear and equipment portfolio this way. Offer your current boss, if you have, let's say, can talk to him and you sense there is something to it, you know, to make their website film about the company. Offer your services at a discounted rate to get started. Now you might ask, what rate based on what? Obviously not the rate that, you know, in the film industry, because you probably don't have an idea what, you know, people charge in that field that you are interested in. But give him a great discount on, you know, you know what you make. He probably knows what you roughly make. Give him a good, good discount on those services and tell him that you're just starting out, getting your feet, uh, feet wet and, you know, want to help him out because making film production, making ads, promos is very expensive. So you can help him out here and you increase your value for your bus and his company. This could get you maybe even a race to, you know, that you then can reinvest back into your filmmaking, into your equipment. Because now you are more worth than anybody else. Because if you showed him, if you made them something that they really can use for their company and it drove them some awesome results, man, you are a big asset. Save money to be able to experiment in your filmmaking and have an income simultaneously. That is basically my verdict of doing this. I think this is a smart way of going um, after a film career if you're coming from uh, an already established job. Learning on the job is paid film school. We discussed that in video one. Don't go into debt take out a loan or use credit cards to finance your filmmaking aspirations. I want to warn you on this again because so many people think, oh, I need a business loan in order to get started. No, it's absolutely bull. You don't need to. Make the sale first and then start slowly. Please do me a favor. Don't go in debt for this. Don't use your credit card or don't try to get a business loan. Having a day job is a perfect jumping board to shift over to the career you want, as I outlined a little earlier. It makes you also less desperate when you accept film jobs. So imagine, so you have you know, started with your boss, right, in your current job. Let's say you're an architectural dude, right, and making for his firm for the website, you know, a little dinky film here. So... Now you can, you know, you, you word of mouth, you know, this is how it started with me, gets, you know, um, spread and people say, wow, I love that film. I want something, you know, like this for my website. Boom. Now you have a whole different um, level leverage of negotiation because you are not desperate, you know, financially. You are pretty secure because of your day job. It helps you to make a living and to save money for equipment. Duh, of course. But I want to say this again. You can save money for your own equipment. That's what, for example, the student or, you know, let me give you an, an, an example. I know a guy who works for a small video production company. And he's a really like in that company already probably the number two guy. And still... He does not make enough money in order to pay for his equipment because he's an assistant, I think an assistant editor and, you know, equipment costs money. So if you have a cool, a good paying job, use that as your leverage. In our next video, I will show you how can you find actually kind of a niche where you offer your filmmaking services that are lucrative, that make you money, and that you can advance as a filmmaking pioneer. Let's go over. See you over there.